Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to walk you through the process of how to unlock our OnePlus 5, install a custom recovery, as well as root the system using a systemless root using Magisk. And the reason why I chose Magisk over SuperSue, well, it's because I want to deal with those applications that stop once they detect root on our device. This is TK and this is XDA TV. First thing we need to do on the device, we'll go into settings, go all the way down to the bottom and go to about device. Double keep tapping on the build number until you get the developer option. I already have that in. Go into developer option and we need to turn on a few things here, not just one. So the first thing we want to do is we want to do OEM unlocking. So that's the first thing. You check this box. It's normally not checked. Once you check this on, you need to go to advanced reboot, turn that on. Next, you go into debugging and make sure USB debugging is turned on. So those are pretty much the only things you need to make sure on the device. The other thing you want to make sure, of course, before you do anything else is back up the stuff off this device. Once we unlock the bootloader, the first thing that happens is the system gets wiped. So meaning it's reset. Also, maybe the best recommendation would be also is to go all the way, go to system updates. Make sure you're running the latest version of Oxygen OS. Okay, so on our PC, we need to download a few things. Uh, I'll give you guys links to all of these downloads, but the, for the Magix, we need to download Magix 13.3, the uninstaller in case we need it, and then Magix Manager 5.1.1. The other thing we need to download is the Torp Recovery 13.1, 3.1.1-1. Uh, That's the latest one. Platform tools for access to ADB and Fastboot. Once we have these things, connect our device to it and make sure that we connect correctly. So to do that, we're gonna go into the Fastboot tools and uh, we're gonna open up a command prompt. So holding the shift key, right click, and then go down and open PowerShell. PowerShell essentially is what CMD or the command prompt used to be. So for the most part, this is gonna give us the exact same commands, just what we are is where we are here and we're gonna be able to access it. So we're gonna type in ADB devices. So what we notice here is that we are connected. It says device, my OnePlus 5 is turned on correctly. So what we're gonna need to do now on the, comp on the device, switch over and restart the device into fast boot mode. Press the power, go reboot bootloader and bootloader one more time. So once the device is rebooted into fast boot, you're just gonna say fast boot devices. And at this point, you'll get the word fast boot. If it says it doesn't show up or something comes up other than this, that means you're not installed correctly or your drivers are not right. So from there, the next thing we're gonna to need to do is unlocking the bootloader. Now, as I mentioned to you guys in the beginning, all of the information off this device is gonna get wiped. There's no SD card. So the only thing we're gonna to need to make sure is that we have the latest version of the uh, OTAs that are reinstalled. Also, all of our information is backed up off of this. Now, what we need to just do is fast boot. And then you type in OEM unlock. Very simple, very easy. Once we run this command, it's gonna initiate an uh, option on the window on the device. So go ahead and switch over to your device. And using the volume keys, we'll be able to go up or down, but essentially what it's given us, it says yes or no. And what we're gonna do here is go yes and hit power. Once you do that, the device is gonna go into a, uh, a state where it's gonna flash itself and clean itself. So there's no more things on this device. Now, the phone reboots normally. Again, this has been restored and there's nothing on it right now. All we're gonna say is just let's go, skip through all of the settings as far as configuring this thing. Now that we're back at the main home screen, go to settings, scroll all the way back to the bottom, go to about phone, go to build number, keep pressing it. And then you, now I'm a developer, so the buttons are switched again under developer options. OEM unlock no longer is an option for us, but we do need to turn on advanced reboot as well as USB debugging. Say okay. Now we're gonna to need to transfer a few files onto this. So from your PC, we'll go back into the to my root folder. I'm gonna transfer the Magisk installer, the uninstaller, the APK, just place them on the root of your device. So essentially where all your other folders are. Pretty much set at this point. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the custom recovery. So for this, we're gonna to need to reboot the device back into fastboot. So once the device is rebooted, we're gonna go ahead and launch one more time, fast boot devices. The device shows up, we're good. And at this point, all we're gonna do is install the recovery. So the one thing you wanna make sure that you're doing with the recovery, for the recovery itself, make sure that you have the recovery file, it doesn't matter what it's called, in the same folder as your platform tools. Because we ran them from here, the recovery file has to be here, otherwise when you try to launch the command, it's not gonna work. So from here, what I'm gonna do is say fast boot flash recovery space once we're done on the phone scroll down on the top it says restart go into recovery mode and then hit the power button what we need to do here is swipe to allow modifications now we have twrp installed it's replaced so you notice 311-1 what i need to do at this point here is install magisk so we're going to go into install 
Scroll all the way to the bottom. We notice that two things that are installed, the Magix installer as well as the uninstaller. Now the APK won't be installed through here. We need to install that through the main system. So we're gonna say, okay, here, swipe, give it a few seconds. Once it's done, wipe cache, since there's nothing on this anyways, and then it just reboots system. The device is restarted and we actually are rooted, but we need to go through a couple of things to make sure that we show that we are, and of course, see what we can do with this. Uh, the first thing you do, you need to install the actual manager. So the same place where we installed all the other th files I put them on before, the manager's right there, install it. This is gonna be kind of like our uh, SuperSU managers. Click OK, open, allow. And we're gonna go in here and it's gonna say installed. It's double checking here, check in Magix version 13.3, install Magix version and tap just check if the safety net is on and it's probably gonna, actually it did. It went through, true, true, tab on the left side. Now we're gonna notice here that the super suit ability and then we also have something called modules and that's gonna be something that are very nice. These are when we have them installed. So when we go into downloads, we're gonna see all the different options that they have for us to download. You know, ADB for Android, um, AD, uh, here, Android uh, mic fix, uh, the apps, uh, App Systemizer. Now, this is a different version of what you normally think of Expose because these modules are optimized to work with Magis. Uh, one of the one things I really, really always like having on any of my devices is Viper for Android. So let's go scroll all the way down to the bottom. So we're gonna download Viper for Android FX. We're gonna install this and we'll give it a few seconds. Let it finish up. Now it's gonna ask me to reboot. I'm gonna say close right now. I'm not gonna finish up that process. Last thing I wanted to show you guys again, uh, we are rooted. Here's the device as I showed you before. The other thing is here is the ability to use applications that are basically are usually blocked once you have root. Um, and once you have this process there, you pretty much set and you can move forward with this. So here it is Pokemon Go. I'm able to log into it. Uh, here it is, the access is fine, there's no concerns, no problems. As I showed you guys, the process is very simple. The main thing you wanna remember is you are gonna lose all the data off your device when you unlock your bootloader. Once you have that done, install the Torp Recovery, install the, uh, the Magis uh, installer as well by itself, go in, install the manager, and you're pretty much set. Um, I showed you guys that I'm still able to use some applications that normally stop once you have root access on your device. And that's one of the main benefits of using the Magisk's process over SuperSue. Not to say that one is better than the other, but there are benefits to one where the other one also succeeds in different area and greater compatibility. The reason why I did this process for you guys today is because I put out a tweet not that long ago and I wanted to see how people are perceiving Root. Do they still need it? Do they still want to do that? And I'm working on a video for that. This feeds a piece into that, so I wanted to share that with you and I'm going to have a video for that coming up pretty soon. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe as usual. Also, let me know what are some of the reasons why you still root your device because I'd like to be able to pick some of those and put them in the video. This is TK. Like and subscribe to this channel. Like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.